Can you please stop doing crunches with your dancers? Thanks. Hey coach, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Katie with dancerfitness.com and I have something to ask you. It's a big favor, you may not like it, but um, can you please stop doing crunches with your dancers? Thanks. For real though, crunches are an exercise that people do all the time and I never recommend them because here's what we're doing. We are training our dancers to get really good at contracting their core in this form. How often do we need to be doing this while we're dancing? So is it important for us to strengthen our core for this movement? No, it really isn't. What we need is our core to be engaged while we have an arm extended, a leg extended, while we're turning, while we're spotting, while we're jumping. What we have to be able to do is train our dancers to stabilize their core so they can stabilize their back, stabilize their hips, and from there, their extensions, their kicks, their turns, their jumps, everything's going to become easier. When we're crunching, our dancers one, rarely ever do it the correct way, and two, they tend to build their abdominal wall outward, and we want to build the abdominal wall inward, right? We want all the stability, everything locked and loaded. So today, I'm going to go over three of my favorite exercises for core. You can do this as a follow-along workout because I'll go through them pretty quickly. So if you have a turn technique class or a jump technique class or you're just looking for ideas for warm-ups, pull this up in class, send it to your dancers, and just follow along. Let's go. We're going to pull our knees into a 90-degree angle. Belly is pulled into your spine, low back is pressed into the floor. Extend your right leg out, add your left arm to the sky. Hold it to the feet, hold it for a beat. Pull it back in, we'll go two, in, three. You should make sure that your belly button is pulled into your spine and your low back is still on the floor. If you start extending your legs and your low back comes off of the floor, then what you need to do is just revert to tapping the toes. Good, we've got 10 more here. Let's go 10, pull it in, and nine, eight. I'm already feeling this underneath my belly button. Seven, six, more effective than a crunch. Five, four, three, two, Last one. Yes, the next one is a dolphin push-up. Why I love this one, it works our core as well as our shoulders. When we're talking about turns and turn timing, turn consistency, so much of it comes from the upper body. We tend to miss that a lot in our strength training with our dancers. So with the dolphin push-up, you hit everything. If you're following along with this video as a warm-up, we're gonna do 12 of them. Starting in a plank on your elbows, push yourself up into a triangle position, and come back down. Don't go past parallel. Up. Press your shoulders down so they're not up into your ears. Are you feeling this in your core yet? I'm working my quads too. This is kind of a full body exercise. Six and seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven. And 12. Finally, my third favorite exercise for core activation and also we get a little bit of hip, some adductor work, which are gonna be incredible for a nice straight supporting leg, power in your jumps, extension, tilts, everything really. One of my favorite exercises looks just like this. If you're following along, we're gonna do another 12 of these. Legs come up into a 90 degree angle. Hands are behind you, sit back on your sits bones. You're gonna slightly sit backwards and extend a leg. Hold for a beat and up. Good. We're strengthening the hips. Your kicks are gonna be amazing. Power is gonna be amazing. Keep that belly pulled in nice and tight. If bending backwards is creating bulging in your core, just work the legs. I've lost count. Let's call this eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, and 12. I already feel like I'm holding myself with so much more stability. And if you were following along as a warm up doing those core exercises, you should be feeling that deep in your core and a little bit in the legs now from the, those dolphin push ups and from extending those legs. Comment below with any questions about the exercises or what warm up do you want to see next? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And remember that at dancerfitness.com, we have an exercise for that.